So let's start with your name and your position. My name is Megan Hart and I'm the Learning Specialist for all of Willer County, which covers Mitchell, Spray, and Fossil. And this is what you're teaching? Third. So before this, your practical experience was in what kind of a teaching environment? Well, it was, I came straight from college, and so um, I had intern and student teaching experience in early intervention special education, which was entirely home visits and preschools. So the topic of this discussion is professional learning communities and um, what value they are and how they're structured. So is this your first experience since you've been with us with a professional learning community? Well, we've done it every month since I've been hired. Before, when you were in your practice. Oh, excuse me. That's okay. Yes, this is my first experience. Okay. So um, I'll have to have you imagine a little bit not having this group, mm -hmm. which is how it was for the other teachers for years and years. They never saw each other. They never met together. They didn't get information necessarily directly from um, colleagues or even someone in my position. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine starting your career without this group? No, I think it would have been difficult, especially coming from the college environment where there is a lot of conversation and interaction between colleagues, even if we weren't at the same practicum site. We were in class after class where we discussed special education issues and interventions and approaches. So I felt like it was an extension of my college career into my work field. So what aspects of this um, monthly meeting do you think are most valuable for your practice? I think that sharing interventions and discuss, discussing issues, um, seeing the overlaps with other professionals, like if I'm stuck on finding interventions for an individual with dyslexia, someone else may also have the same issues, um, just kind of comparing what our issues are, what we've tried, so I don't, you know, reinvent the well by trying something she's already tried or vice versa. If you were to have to convince a new administrator the value of your going monthly to meet with people that you really don't work with in the schools, what would you say? It's so important because in the regular education setting, I'm the only um, special education person there, and it's it's a very isolated feeling, um, and so coming here, it's kind of a way to be in the same room with people who are doing the same pa load of paperwork I'm doing, who's working with the same population I'm doing, is having the same issues or, um, you know, just the same challenges. I feel like my job is so much different from a regular educator's job, and so being surrounded by regular educators can really kind of make you feel like you stand out. And so coming here and comparing is, I, I think, therapeutic for one thing, but also it helps you connect with people who know where you're coming from. If you were going to recommend to someone to start a professional learning community, someone, you know, somewhere else that didn't have one, what would you identify to be essential components of a successful PLC? Having enough downtime that's not scheduled so that you can kind of just open the floor up to whatever issue you're having or whatever topic you'd like to learn more about, I think is very important. But also having some structure so that you kind of have a jumping point. So um, if you set aside some time for something you know everyone needs help, but then also leave the floor open for if you come to me and say, you know what, I have had this issue. It didn't occur to me before, but it's occurring to me now, and here's all these resources in this room that I'd like to talk to you about. And if you are going to um, kind of tweak this particular PLC, what would you like to see happening? The change we made this year was that uh, each person take on a month PLC, the, or the uh, professional development component. What would you like to see as we evolve? Um, I think doing more professional development outside of Condon as a group would be helpful. We do SPR and I once a year in October, um, and we're able to kind of actually get some outside resources, which we don't get when we stay in Condon, except for what people bring in. Mm -hmm. So I think that actually traveling, it could be also a bonding experience to go to um, conferences in other areas. Good. Is there any other final comments you have about professional learning communities? I don't think so. I think I've covered it. Thank you.